In this video, we're going to take a look at four more questions that relate to kinetics and equilibrium. Question six, it says explain in terms of particle arrangement why a sample of solid sodium chloride has less entropy than a sample of aqueous sodium chloride. Well, with a solid, any solid, you're going to have a more ordered arrangement, in this case of the ions, unlike when it's dissolved in water. So that's really all you have to say, is that the solid has a more ordered arrangement of, you could say, ions, you could say particles, than when it's dissolved in water. Sorry for the lousy handwriting. Something that, to that effect. But it said explain in terms of particle arrangement, so don't forget when it says in terms of something, you have to put that in your answer. All right, let's take a look at questions seven and eight. With questions seven and eight, I'm going to go to green here. We have some information above. And in question seven, it says, explain in terms of reaction rates why the concentrations of the reactants and products remain constant in the system. And the concentrations remain constant because the system is in equilibrium. And at equilibrium, the rate of the forward reaction is equal to the rate of the reverse. So, again, in terms of reaction rates, the reaction rates are equal, and the system is at equilibrium. Let's go to question eight. Explain in terms of Le Chatelier's principle why increasing the concentration of uh, hydrogen ions increases the concentration of lactic acid. All right, I'm going to use red here. If I increase the concentration of a substance that it's equilibrium. Now it's not in equilibrium anymore. In this case, the equilibrium shifts away from the side you're adding. So, by adding or increasing the concentration of H+, the shift of the equilibrium is towards the left, which increases the concentration of lactic acid. So, write it out and put it down. Okay, remember what Le Chatelier's principle is, that when you have a system in equilibrium and you add a stress to that system, that the equilibrium is going to react to that stress, and in this case, shift to the left. Okay, let's go to number nine. Here, we have, again, information above about coal. And question nine is asking on the potential energy diagram, which I put here. Draw a double-headed arrow to indicate the interval that represents the heat of reaction. Okay, remember, heat of reaction is your delta H, and your delta H, it's the energy of the product, in this case, minus the energy of the reactants. So, you're going to put your double arrow between that product and that reactant level, and anywhere you could have drawn the double arrow could be here, could be here, could be here. Okay. So this concludes the kinetic slash equilibrium questions from the 2015 Regents exams.